This is the iPhone 5S and we did an iOS 10 review on the iPhone 5S a couple of weeks ago which racked up 250,000 views. To put that into perspective, that is a quarter of a million people still rocking with the iPhone 5S. So today we're going to do should you update to iOS 10.0.2 review here on the iPhone 5S. Let's go. So here is the confirmation of iOS 10.0.2 on the iPhone 5S right here. Visually, there is not many changes for the iPhone 5S. You can see we saw that nice translucent effect and we do have the ability to check out our widgets on the lock screen and also very, very aesthetically similar to iOS 10. There's actually probably no changes in this department. Now we do have snappy animations that was included with iOS 10. We do have the new redesigned control center and we also do have the ability to have to press twice to go into our lock screen which is kind of annoying but there's a fix for that we do have bedtime and awake which is pretty awesome if you like to track your sleep but for more features on iphone 5s ios 10 check out the full review i have a link down below in the description and up in a card so here are the features of ios 10.0.2 and you can go ahead and pause the video if you would like to read what comes included but it's just a few features so what I want to do here is go ahead and boot up the iPhone 5S and I'm going to time it here on the iPhone 5 which is also on iOS 10.0.2 and you can see it did take about 41 seconds to go ahead and boot up the iPhone 5S which you could say is a little bit long but hey it's a 2013 phone so what do you expect and now what I want to do is basically go through the iPhone 5S's user interface and check out the speed and just the fluidity of how it is to use this guy on a daily basis and if you're watching this visually you can see that with the new visual animation updates to iOS 10 it is a very snappy and good experience here on the iPhone 5s so if you were wondering about how is it gonna perform day to day on this latest version don't be afraid to go ahead and update in this aspect it is really solid and battery life has been really solid as well on the iPhone 5s and you can see apps are just flying open and you'd be hard pressed to even notice a difference between this and a 2016 phone unless you guys were kind of putting them together and comparing them side by side you're gonna have a great experience here on the iPhone 5s opening up a game loaded in no time you can see right there and overall in terms of the general fluidity of the user interface snapping through things going to widgets going into the browser going into apps unlocking and unlocking the screen it is pretty solid now let's take a look at the camera which brings that selfie camera to the bottom right corner but you can see overall this is an area where the iPhone start to lag up once they get older and it's an older device but you can see burst mode is fine everything is just taking pictures nice and quickly so in terms of your camera no lag here on the camera for the iPhone 5s so the question is, Nick, should I update to the iPhone 5S, iOS 10.0.2? And if you're on iOS 9 and you don't want to go to 10, I would say no, because you obviously don't want to go to 10. But if you're on 10 and you want to increasingly get more innovative features, more bug fixes for your iPhone 5S, and you want to keep it going, keep it moving forward, I would say go ahead and update to iOS 10.0.2. It's not going to let you down. It's a solid operating system. Be sure to be well, have a great day, and peace.